On the embedded computer or the printer computer, you're going to open up the printer control software. Uh, go over to Options, Wizards, and we're going to select Heads Cleaning. Click on Next, and we're just going to ensure that the hood is closed and that the tray is cleaned. Click on Next. Once everything uh, moves to position, you can go ahead and open up the hood. Uh, we're going to move the whole head assembly over just to get uh, some more access there. Disconnect the connectors for the UV lamp and the uh, fans on that assembly. Unscrew the screws on either side and then lift up and remove. You're going to start by moving the head assembly forward and with an Allen key pry up the clip for the suction straws. Move them out of the way with your hands. With a 3mm Allen key we're going to unscrew the two screws on the roller waste collector and we're going to use those as handles when we remove it. Make sure that the top edge is aligned with the edge on the frame and the side surface is aligned with the surface of the frame. Grab the screws and you're going to gently swivel it down and out. Be careful not to go left or right as you might damage the blade. Now we're going to clean the roller waste collector. Take a cleaning cloth and just soak up all the extra resin that's built up. You can drag the cloth around just to get any stubborn resin out of there and use isopropyl alcohol to clean it more. Clean the inside edge of the blade, run the cloth across starting from the inside and moving outwards. If you would like to clean the grease on the outside of the blade, again take the cloth and run it across. Regrease the blade with the Molly Coat DX paste and just ensure that you have the paste covering the entire length of the blade. Clean off any excess paste with a clean cloth and ensure that the blade is smooth before installing. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the roller waste collector. Uh, bring it in slowly, make sure the top edge does not go above the edge that it aligns to and the side surface stays aligned to the frame. Tighten up the screws again with a 3mm Allen key and make sure they are fairly tight. Do not over tighten, they do have locking washers. Put the clip back into the groove for the suction straws and just ensure that the frame holding them down is firmly down. Place the UV lamp back into its cradle, tighten up each of the thumb screws and connect the plugs for the UV light and the fans. You can now close the lid to your machine, go back to the computer, select that the heads are clean, click on next, ensure that the tray is empty and the hood is closed, click on next, and once the head homes itself, it will be completed.